ever just want to throw your hands up and say like, there's got to be a better way to do this whole democracy thing. Yeah, I think we've all been there. You and me both. And it turns out someone out there feels the same way. Oh, really? We're going to be deep diving into a proposal called The New City, and it's got some really fascinating ideas about how we govern ourselves. Back. It's a really interesting mix of like utopian ideals and some, well, interesting solutions to the problems of modern democracy. Mm. Like I was saying before, it's not just suggesting some small changes. They're talking about a complete overhaul. Right. They think that the way we do representative democracy, even with all the ways we try to make it fair, is just flawed at its core. Hmm. Okay. I actually have some excerpts here that you sent over, and they do not hold back on the critiques. Yeah, no, they get to the point really fast. They're talking about how citizens and governments are so disconnected. Yeah, for sure. Like, have you ever v voted and been like, did that even matter? All the time. Or trying to understand those bills they vote on, it's basically impossible. Right. They're saying that all of that, plus like the amount of information that's out there now, it's impossible to be engaged. Oh, totally. You just can't be an informed citizen, even if you wanted to be. That's what they're saying. And then there's the whole thing with lobbyists and special interests. It's like they listen to them more than the people. Yeah. And that's where the new city takes this sharp turn. They basically say the solution is more democracy. More democracy. Yeah. But like not the kind we have now, direct democracy. Mm. And they want to use technology, so it's always there 24-7. So instead of electing people to make decisions, we'd be voting on everything ourselves. Yes. Everything from like fixing potholes on your street to the national budget. I bet people are freaking out a little bit hearing that. But before we get to like the potential chaos of all that... How do they deal with the complexity? Like, I'm not some expert in every policy. I don't have time to read all that stuff. Yeah. So that's why they want to use AI. Hi. They're saying AI can be like this translator to make these policies easier to understand. So instead of needing a law degree, I'd have an app explaining it all. Yes. It would give you the main points, tell you what it might mean for you. Like, will energy prices go up? I could get behind that information that's actually understandable. And then it's about being engaged all the time. So if I don't like how something's going, I can say something right away. Yes. You could instantly say you disagree, find other people who agree with you, and even potentially vote to change things. That's so different from what we're used to, but I can see how that could really work. Right. It's like leaving a review, but yeah. for your government. Exactly. They are making some pretty big promises, like more engagement, being more transparent. That's a lot to deliver on. Oh, for sure. The big question is, will it work? Yeah. And are there downsides to everyone having that much power? That's what I'm wondering. It sounds great, but like in the real world, how would this actually work? Right. It's not like deciding where to eat. These decisions have huge consequences. Totally. And they seem to know that. They actually give some examples of how it would work. Oh, like hypotheticals. I love those. Yeah. They talk about different kinds of problems, local stuff, and also global things. Okay. So what do they use as an example? Well, one example is like a city deciding if they want to do this big renewable energy project, you know, like solar panels and wind farms, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's a big deal now. Every city's trying to figure that out. Right. So, like, think about how that decision happens now. You've got the politicians, the lobbyists, all these experts. And it takes forever, and no one's happy in the end. Exactly. They're saying in the new city, it would go straight to the citizens through the app. Oh, right. And then that AI thing comes in. Yeah. It explains everything to people so they understand. So no more needing a PhD to figure out what I'm voting on. It would tell you how much it costs, what it means for the environment, all that. Okay. I'm liking this so far, but then what? Does everyone just vote yes or no? It's more than that. You can also give feedback, suggest changes. It's like editing a document, but for the city. So it's not just a yes or no. You can actually shape it. And then if most people say yes, they go ahead and do it. If not, they go back and try again. But now they know what people want. That makes sense. So what about when something goes wrong? Like they make a policy and it has all these bad side effects they didn't see coming. See, that's what they say is so good about this because everyone's paying attention all the time. So it's more responsive. Right. Like say there's health care reform, but then it turns out it's really hurting some people. They wouldn't have to wait for another election. They could just get it changed right away. They could say what's wrong, find other people who have the same problem, and maybe even vote to get rid of the policy entirely. That's wild. So much faster than how we do it now. It's like the difference between having one performance review a year at work and getting feedback every day so you can fix things as you go. Okay, that's a good way to put it, but all this is big picture stuff. What about everyday problems? Like what about that pothole on Elm Street that's been there forever? 
You really want that pothole fix, huh? Yeah. Well, you're in luck. They actually talk about that, too. Okay, let's hear it. So you open your app, you report the pothole, just like you do now on those city websites. Yeah, yeah. But here's the difference. The app connects you with everyone else who reported it to. So it's like we're all in this together. Exactly. And then, get this, they're suggesting that people could vote on how to spend the city budget. Wait, so me and everyone else with a busted tire could just vote to fix the pothole? That's the idea. It's not just complaining, it's having the power to actually do something about it. Okay, now that is empowering. But it makes me think that all this power to the people, what about when the majority is wrong? That's what worries me with this whole thing, giving more power to the people. But what if they make the wrong choices? Especially no. when it comes to, like, protecting minorities, that's a recipe for disaster. It's the classic problem with direct democracy, right? The tyranny of the majority. Exactly. So how do they address that in the new city? Okay, so they actually have this really different solution for this. They lean hard into freedom of movement. Okay, wait, remind me. What was their whole thing about borders again? So they're basically saying no borders, everyone can go wherever they want. Right, right. I knew it was something big like that. And they think that solves the minority rights issue. Okay, I got to hear this. How that's supposed to work? They're saying if you're living somewhere and you feel like your values aren't respected or you're not being heard, you can just leave. So it's like... If the majority is making decisions you don't agree with, you can just find a different majority. Yeah, basically. You find a community that fits your ideals better, that's the whole idea. It's kind of like picking your neighborhood, but like way bigger. Right. You could have cities, whole regions even, that have their own values decided by the people who live there. I mean, in theory, that sounds great, more personalized, but how would that actually work in practice? That's where they get a little fuzzy on the details. Yeah, like what about conflict between these communities? Or discrimination. And wouldn't these communities just become echo chambers where everyone thinks the same way? It's definitely a lot of what ifs. It's like they've figured out the technology, but human nature is still the big unknown. And that's kind of the point of this whole new city thing, isn't it? Mm. It makes us think about what we actually want. Yeah, it's like they're saying, OK, here's a different way. What do you think? It's a thought experiment, a way to start a conversation. It's definitely got me thinking some parts are exciting, some parts are scary, but it's definitely thought-provoking. And that's what's important. We don't have all the answers, but we're asking the right questions. Absolutely. And maybe our listeners have some ideas, too, things we haven't even considered. So if you're listening, we want to know what you think. What parts of the new city resonate with you? What worries you? And could any of this actually work in the real world? Keep those questions in mind as you go about your day. And until next time, Keep diving deep.